so at this time, uh, we have what we call pilot data. These, uh, these are uh, aggregates of at least two studies where patients who have been um, identified as MSI high have received uh, uh, the immune checkpoint inhibitors nivolumab or pembrolizumab. Uh, at this point in time, uh, I would say that um, there is a very interesting signal there. There's no doubt about that. And, um, and in my opinion, it identifies patients who may respond to the treatment. So I'm a believer in that. However, we still have to keep in mind that um, uh, our strategy of uh, incorporating these drugs are still in patients who have failed uh, most or all other treatments. Uh, we're not going to use them as a frontline treatment. They're going to be used in the later stages of our, our therapies. Uh, keeping in mind, again, these are not FDA approved for this purpose. Uh, and patients are preferably uh, uh, better to be referred to clinical trials. And there are uh, several clinical trials in this space. Patients are better off being in, these, in those clinical trials so that we can learn most about them. So in summary, I believe that this is going to make an impact on our standard of care. I, I believe the data, uh, the magnitude of the benefit might change when once we move into larger clinical trials, which usually happens uh, in, in, in our uh, uh, research uh, arena. Uh, but at this time, uh, patients, if possible, should be put on clinical trials.